We have a dinner at Chili's to discuss a project that we're trying to purchase on Seller Finance. It's about a $1.7 million project. Alright guys, we are here. We just left our house out in Mulberry and we are on our way to Tampa. It is 8.08 in the morning and our goal is to get to the office before 9 a.m. so we can have our 9 a.m. training at the office. Today we have a pretty busy day. We have Noel out in St. Pete at 10 a.m. giving out quotes. We have myself and maybe some people from the team going all the way over to Hudson to look at a property that somebody wants us to help them out with. We also have another commercial spot to go look at out on Florida Avenue at like two o'clock we have a dinner at Chili's to discuss a project that we're trying to purchase on seller finance it's about a 1.7 million dollar project and the people just accepted our counter offer verbally but they do want to come out and meet us first and out of all spots they picked Chili's to talk about a 1.7 million dollar transaction that's going to be seller financed so with that said we're trying to get to the office as quickly as we can uh, we usually run into some traffic after we we get the highway, but hopefully we take you out with with us today and Hopefully we're able to use this camera a little more than we did the last one I must say it does look much nicer to record in it. Uh, just kind of like right now looking at it. So Hopefully it's cool. Hopefully the audio is picking up We'll go as we we'll see as we go and Yeah Catch you guys later. All right, guys. So we actually had the pleasure of seeing Noel today before he uh, but, uh, I also, you know, went on some of his appointments. Say what's up. What's going on? You ready? Good morning. What's up? Yeah, it looks first today, dog. Good morning, dog. If you ain't first, you last. Say what's up, there, buddy? What's up, everybody? First, you last. Alright guys, so there's actually been a change of plans. Uh, Noel is here at the office like you guys saw because there was some miscommunication yesterday. He thought that I meant come to the office so that we can all ride with you instead of just come to the office so we can have our morning trainings and then go on about our, our day. Think that we were going to ride with him all day so that's what I guess we're uh, going to do and just go to every appointment together. All right, guys, so we just got here uh, to Hudson. One of the properties that we have to look at uh, is this property right here behind me. Uh, let's take a peek. Kind of just open the door, found the lock box. This is what we're working with today. Actually, very nice house. Love all the little wood looking accent stuff over there. Kind of matches the rock stuff. Uh, we kind of got like the little U. 
uh, driveway with the garage going on. Do have this stuff here going on. We got a bedroom. Another bedroom. We got one of the bathrooms. That one's good. Like a shower area. Another bedroom this way. We have a garage right here. Do have another bathroom and bedroom. I believe this is the master. Here's the shower. This side was impressive. I was like, whoa. whoa. Love yes. it. Love it. What do you guys think? Should we donate this to Love is Blind? The Love is Blind? <laughs> Love is Blind. I was going to say, you guys want to keep it? I don't know. I think we should keep these locks. Very antique. How is this stuff out here? Okay, here we have the AC. Doesn't look horrible, doesn't look bad at all. Very peaceful. What do you guys think about this crib? The problem is there's a lot of other houses here for sale and nothing's really selling. So that's kind of a big turn down. The house is definitely livable, but um, definitely needs a touch up if we want to get the absolute max for it. Like we're comparing against neighbors like this. Look at this. Look at that monster right there. Look at the ones right next to it. So maybe the play is actually just a tear down and build two new houses. It is sitting on two lots. You can see all this extra lot right here. So maybe that's the play. We'll update you guys. You learned anything yet, Lino? Yeah. <laughs> Where are we going to next? Um, we have that other appointment on Florida Avenue, right? So we that's head just uh, towards the office. That yeah. one. Yeah, I guess it's close. And that's at like what, 2.30, 3 o'clock? Um, no, it's at 1. Oh, I think we should just head straight there. Then. We'll get something to eat. Yeah, and then just head straight there. Grabbing something to eat. You, you boys know what you want to eat yet? Nah, we'll figure out what's on the way there. Right now, there's not gonna be any food for a long road. Yeah, and then from there we have uh, a commercial spot that came through yesterday from a lady uh, texting back scam. That our initial text message was a scam that just said, "Hi, uh, owner's name, whatever. Uh, can we chat for a minute?" And she texted back scam. We texted back not at all. She texted back, gave us a call, gave her a call. Uh, and ended up with like a little commercial spot out on Florida Avenue at one o'clock. So that's how our day got set up today. All right, so made it. Lito made it. Little pups up. Little pups up top. Lito made it. Every champ needs to eat, so we're gonna pups. And then run across from the office.
All right, so pretty much weird scenario. Um, this lady got a contract. Uh, That's uh, the house we wanted to go see? Yeah, this is the house over in... Um, they were under contract before? Yeah, so they were under contract back on... Looks like on October 6th, it was officially all signed. Um, and then in this contract, they got offered... Five hundred and sixty thousand dollars. Damn. They were giving five thousand dollars in escrow. Okay, you can see that right here. Um, they had a sign by ten six, which that's when she did. Um, they were supposed to set the close on October twenty seventh, and then the contract was not assignable because she said that she forced them to sign that. But ideally, he wanted to get the one that was assigned, according to him. So, according to her. Um, but this is a good news right here. This right here, they fucked up. So, they put both cash and the contract as contingent upon hard money. So, they should have picked one or the other. Um, and then, if you keep coming down, coming down, coming down. They also put inspection period right here, zero days. So, technically, as soon as they signed this contract, if they would have... If they would have signed and then they would have put the, well, they did sign. If they would have put escrow, if they would have deposited escrow, they would have lost that, yeah. Especially because the contingency on the money, it's a little weird. Because they put both. They put cash and then the hard money stuff. So that could be a scenario where the sellers could definitely win. And be like, nah, he told me it was cash. Right here. So what happened there? Here? Yeah, like what happened? They were under contract, what happened? So it's weird though, because right here they have a title company right here that says Celebration Title. So I called them and then they never even opened up a file. So whatever this guy is, Dream Homes Investments, they signed this contract and then he never even sent it to the title company. Then they said that they've done addendums. So maybe in those addendums, they changed the title company. Mm. So that's what she's going to send me now. I wonder what somebody was thinking to lock him up there. A tyrant. Yeah, that's high. But I mean, there's we've done it to be to be honest in the past. It's not something we're happy about, and it's not something that we do now. But we've done it in the past to where you go into a market or an area where you don't really know what you don't really, really, really know what a house is worth, but you understand that this has to be worth something. So you get it for as cheap as you can, and then you just come out to the market to test it. But five six not even that's not cheap. Not at all. Like what they had it locked in at. They had it locked in at uh, like retail? 560. It's like super retail. Yeah. But it's not, it's like Noel said though, there's not a lot of like um, rehab houses there. So it's hard to get like a true A or B. Because the rehab houses are just much newer. Yeah. So it's just a hard one overall. But I mean, it goes back to the same thing that I'm saying. Like, there's, it's worth something. It is worth something, of course, but we just gotta know what that something is. Because even down, what you could do, which I don't really want to do, but we'll get it done quick, is um, see how much new builds are going for, and then coming up with the price of land for it. Yeah, doing two new builds not bad. It just goes back to do people are people even looking for new builds on there? Yeah. Because everything there wasn't like new new build. I don't think I saw anything new build. You want to digest a call or what? What call? Or you want to get on the phone? No, I'm going to call some people. I'm going to call some people.